Now, on, on the tax policy issue, um, in Room to Grow, there's discussion of tax policy, and a lot of it is focused on saying, okay, we need to move away from this sort of myopic focus on adjusting individual income tax rates. Um, when Ronald Reagan proposed it, marginal rates were at 70 percent, and they've gone down significantly, so that, that's not helping as many people when you do that. Uh, but a lot of the, the response from reform conservatives has focused on sort of family-friendly tax reforms. And I just wonder whether or not in this sort of move to sort of expand the conservative arguments to a broader uh, electorate or broader number of Americans, that the emphasis on families disregards the fact that there are a lot of people who aren't in families. I mean, the, in the exit polls in 2012, Mitt Romney clobbered Obama among uh, married, uh, married voters, whereas if you look at unmarried voters who made up 40 percent of the electorate, Republicans got clobbered. So the question is how to reach people who are unmarried and does this focus on sort of family-friendly tax reform not really reach those people? Well, I think there are a couple of things going on there. First of all, in, in thinking in general about tax policy, I think that there is a, a tendency for people on the right to just kind of finish sentences that other people started in the 80s and not think about why those sentences started the way they did. Tax policy was and is a barrier to economic growth and to upward mobility. It takes too much money out of the pockets of working people. It did that in the 1970s through the income tax. It does that now largely through the payroll tax. Um, and conservatives have been too willing to accept this idea that the Democrats have always insisted on, that the payroll tax is this sacred thing because it funds Social Security and Medicare. It's a separate thing. It shouldn't be thought of as part of the larger tax system. Of course, that's always been a fiction. And we're in a situation now where the payroll tax is most of the tax burden that most middle class people pay, um, and it's untouchable, and you can't help them with it. it we even had a, a temporary reduction in the payroll tax the Democrats and Republicans together agreed to allow it to rise back up a year ago. That's a huge mistake. Conservatives have got to be open to thinking about the tax system as a whole, and especially where it affects actual people, uh, and especially people who are, who are under economic strain, and that's the payroll tax. Uh, uh, the the, the family-friendly component here is, a, in part, an attempt to try to address what I think is a, is a mistreatment of parents in the tax code. If you think about how the tax code works uh, and, what it, and, and what, wh how we spend the money that comes through the payroll tax in particular, there's a way in which our entitlement system, which is an old age entitlement system, taxes parents twice uh, because it taxes them as they're working and they're also paying the cost of raising their children who then become future taxpayers. Uh, it's mitigated somewhat. There are benefits for parents in the tax code. But I think that it, it, there can be a lot more of that, and it would make sense for there to be a lot more of that. And so what uh, Bob Stein proposes in his chapter in this book is an increase in the child tax credit that is combined with and that makes possible a larger simplification of the tax code. That is, y you can't just sell simplification to voters. There, it's much too abstract. It doesn't actually affect a lot of them. Um, but it's necessary to enable economic growth. And part of the argument that Stein makes is that if Republicans are going to improve the tax code at that level, they need to offer people a concrete benefit. And a logical place to do that, which is a place that actually addresses a policy error or a, an unfairness in the tax code, uh, is by increasing the, the per child tax credit. I think we need to lower taxes for everybody. And I think we need to lower the payroll tax for everybody. But if the question is where do we start and how do we enable a larger uh, reform of the tax code that allows the economy to function better, yeah, tax relief for parents, as a political matter, is very popular, uh, extremely popular. It's probably the most popular idea in this, in this book uh, as a general sort of uh, electoral matter. And it's also a good idea, and it's also a good policy, and that's not a bad combination. So as a place to start, I think that's a pretty good place to start. Now <laughs>